In our last lesson, we introduced ourselves to the graphic.py file from Wartburg College. I made the mistake of saying Wartburg University, but it is indeed Wartburg College. Now, to use this, we use it like we would import any other module by using either import and then graphics or the way we've started doing it now is to say from graphics import star. Now that calls that graphics Python into this program that we're currently writing. At this point, if you can recall back to the intermediate class, we learned how to make a window using the TK interlibrary. Doing it this way is much easier than the way we did it before. So all we have to do is we have to create an object. So I'm going to create one called window and it is going to equal graph win. Now notice the G and the W are both capitalized. And after that, we can simply print our window. So let's go ahead and save it. And I am going to save mine as zero one one. So we have it saved and now we can run it. And you'll see that it creates a functioning window on our screen. And this is the, the fundamental basis for using this program. But this isn't all we can do with it. We can also have it react, and, and we'll go into this more in depth, but just to give you a little bit of information on how powerful this is, we can actually have it react to a key press. So if what I do after I print the window is I can establish the name of a variable, we will call it uh, check. We'll have that equal to window, which is the name of our object, and get key. Now what happens here is that it records what key you press. So down below, we will type print and then check. So let's save this again and then click run. And here's our, our window. Now I'm going to press the Y key on my keyboard. And you will see in our Python shell that it will record the fact that I pressed the Y key. And it prints it out to our shell screen. When we come back, 
we're going to talk about some of the other shapes we can create using the graphics.py file. So see you then.